Hey, how's it going everyone? And welcome to my brand new room. Now, why don't you come a little closer and we can have a little chit chat. So what you're seeing now is the new background to these videos. Now, I don't want to get emotional, but I am going to get sentimental with you guys for a second. I so we'll, we'll do a tour in a minute, but I, I I just want to talk to you guys for a second. Since there's so much happening in my life right now, I kind of just want to talk about, you know, the channel with you guys and just how happy I am and how precious you guys are to me. This project took about two weeks. If you've been following me on Instagram, I've been hinting about photos of my room being completely destroyed and yada yada yada. And, well, as you can tell, it's not destroyed anymore. It... it is the definition of my dream room. I cannot put into words how happy I am. And I mean that in the purest form. I am so content and happy with how my room came out. It is literally the definition of perfection to me. Everything that I envisioned to happen, happened. Literally, I don't see a way for this room to get better. But, uh, I just want to say thank you guys uh, for holding through. For some reason, I've been gaining subs more than I've been losing for my two weeks that I've been away, which is amazing. I don't know what I'm doing, but obviously I'm doing something right to get you guys to love my content so much and such the nice comments I love so much. You guys genuinely, genuinely make my day whenever I get those kind of comments. Uh, it just fills me with so much pride and joy knowing that I create content you guys enjoy and love to the fullest uh, and I get to sit down and create content that I enjoy loving to create and put out for you guys. It's it's such a good hobby. I love it so much. I, I never wish for anything else. Uh, you guys are mean the world to me and what this channel stands for. Uh, I know there's been a lot of drama while I was gone. I'm not going to address it here. This isn't the channel to do that. Uh, if you want to, go check out the Dark Sages channel or channels and his Twitch streams. He's been getting into a lot of shit, but that's I digress. But uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say. Uh, like, there are literally, I'm literally speechless. I've been speechless for days about how amazing this feels. To have something I never thought I'd ever have, and that was a professional looking room. Now, this room went from a boy's room to a man's room. You know, this is the kind of room where I can bring a woman in and not be ashamed, if you know what I mean. In my other room, I felt kind of ashamed. All my mangas out there, I look like a dweeb. Now it's like, okay, he has a hobby, but it doesn't look like he's the kind of nerd. I mean, if you don't look at the posters. Uh, it, it, it's so nice to think that way and feel that way and not be insecure about how your room looks and feels to you. And this was what... I wanted. Now besides this, here obviously we have uh, a huge update to my setup which I'll tour you guys on. Uh, I'll have like little timetables in the background or in the description that you can probably see it on the timeline. Uh, so I'll do the setup tour stuff like that. I'm not going to get in depth on the setup. I know you guys want to see the rest of the room. But uh, yeah, I, I really can't say how proud I am to have you guys and how undeserving I am to have fans like you guys or just enjoyers of my videos. Uh, I love you guys to the fullest. I say it at the end of every episode. Peace out. I love you guys. I I truly mean that. Like you like like we're already almost at 600 subs and I hit 500 like two and two or three weeks ago. What the fuck is that? Like we're on track to hit a K maybe by next year, like the very beginning of next year. Maybe as a Christmas gift we might hit a K if I start grinding, which I hope I do. And my life just did a complete 180 and I in the best way possible. And I couldn't be more happy. And the way this room flows and looks and works, it is the definition, as I said, of perfection to me. I literally don't think this room could get any better. Uh, but uh, I think enough of the nonsense. Uh, if you guys enjoy 
content like this and you'd like to see more, please sure to go down and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to join the Discord, link is in the description. And, long promo, I've been streaming on Twitch lately every once in a while, so if you would like to go watch me in, in uh, live, we'll... I always play some games where we just sit there and chat and just talk about manga. Uh, and yeah, so if you guys like to, go follow me on Twitch. Uh, that's enough uh, talking and let's get on to the room tour. Alright, so if we walk right through the door, which you guys saw in the opening, we have the shelves, which we'll get to in a minute, my setup, which we'll get to in a minute, and then we have the rest of my room. So I pretty much just want to talk about these here. So these are my JoJo posters. Uh, obviously, these are not new, but the way they are put are new. I definitely really enjoy where these posters are right now. It really fills this wall. It really makes it look full and, you know, comfy, if you know what I mean. Now, I'm going to get a fourth poster for up there, because that wall is kind of plain. Uh, you guys also see a little something that I'll get to in a minute. Uh, but yeah, these posters are amazing. I love them. I'm going to get another one, hopefully from JoJo's as well, but I want it to be like an actual wallpaper, not a poster. Or like, I want it to be landscape, not portrait, if you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, these posters are amazing. I love them so much. I never get sick of them. I, it's just to show my love for JoJo's and just how fucking amazing the series is. Alright, I guess we'll move to the PC. So nothing has changed um, computer-wise. Everything in there is the same. I'll see if I can put up a, a flashcard of everything that's in this system. Monitors are the same, but they're on a different mount. So I got a monitor mount, which saved me I don't know how much room. And it's nice because I could have my monitors at eye level so i don't need to bend my neck down and get super bad posture also skills are lit don't at me skills are fucking amazing uh and yeah same keyboard good old good old classic keyboard you know what i'm saying good old classic keyboard uh new mouse as you can tell i kind of went with like a black gray and white scheme which i think looks awesome this nice black and white mouse pad that says life and death I don't really care about that, I just care about that it's how it's black and white, and I like the flowers. The flowers are cool. The flowers are very cool. Very cool flowers. Then obviously the blue Yeti X that I usually film with. Seven port USB, which saves my ass on multiple occasions. And then if we go underneath... We have the subwoofer for the speakers subwoofers for the speakers and then we have Whoa! new keyboard management Ew! now it's not perfect what the whatsoever fuck? uh you guys might throw up at this but uh it's a lot 120 times better than what it was uh two or three weeks ago i i proud isn't even the right word to use for this uh but yeah that's pretty much it and then obviously we have two new additions to this room and these are two nice replica swords obviously as you can tell we have laws sword from one piece and then we have zoro's one of zero swords from one piece i don't know exactly which one this is because i read the manga so i don't really know what they look like so this is where my third poster is or my fourth poster sorry is where it's going to go it's gonna look amazing i i thought i'd delete the video because of it but it's not that big of a deal so it, it's not bad same tv as always all right so that's the setup done let's move on to my prized possession the shelves so Basic as shit sell, uh, basic as shit sell, sell, basic as shit shelves, these are two Ikea billies, but it was a lot better than my handmade shelves, which honestly were cool, it was a one of a kind, but these look so good. As you can tell, there's some new figures here, so I'll show those off in a minute, uh, but all my manga fits, and then these shelves are notorious for double stacking, so you can, uh, like, take a volume and actually it'll fit there so you can like have the back one stand up and the front one uh yeah you know what i mean uh <laughs> so you can double stack them which i think is sick so i can pretty much like double my collection which is sick so i don't have to worry about space for a very 
very long time. And then we'll go through the figures real quick. So we have this Fire Sabo figure uh, in a kimono. I don't think he's in Wano. Uh, because I've seen multiple Sabos in different kim kimono, so I don't think he's in Wano. If he is, that's cool. It's not really a spoiler. And then, my new other new figure, we have a Monkey D. Luffy figure in his Wano fit. I think the Wano fits are the best fits. The kimono fits look fucking amazing. Uh, they look beautiful. I, I think they look so clean, and honestly, these were all for a very good price. All of these two were like 50, 60 Canadian dollars, which I think was a great, great, great steal. Then we have classic Deku figure. You guys know him. He's been in my videos for a minute. Then we have this nice, like, kind of decorative piece. I don't know what the fuck this is. Um, it was like 40 bucks on Amazon, but it, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty neat. Uh, yeah. And then we have the goat. Definitely not my favorite One Piece character, but uh, still very enjoyable character. That is Zoro. Uh, for those that don't know. Brooks, my number one character. Uh, Brooks, oh my god, I love Brooke. But uh, yeah, that's Zoro. And those are pretty much the only new figures I have, which is pretty neat. Uh, it doesn't seem like much, but this room, I'll do a before and after. This room looks so good. It looks so good. Obviously, you know, I painted my walls from the white to the barn red all the way around. So this was already red, but we decided to go with that color all the way around. And I, I couldn't be happier. This room is just so cozy. It is the definition of perfection to me. But yeah, I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for the future of this channel. Like I said, if you're excited for the future of this channel, be sure to go down and hit that subscribe button and uh, join the Discord. I love you guys so much. I truly mean that. I'll see you all in the next video. Tell me what you think of the room, if you like it or not. Uh, your opinions, your opinion is all I could say. I love you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Hopefully my next video isn't another two weeks from now, but I love you guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, take care, love you all.